Okay, now we're going to talk about how to import the file uh, that was created in Spot Process and uh, into Illustrator. And uh, you know, we can do it either way, either Illustrator or Photoshop, and we'll give you an example how to do it on both. Um, the most common, or because of the ability to print more positives a lot faster, is uh, using Illustrator. Uh, in this example here, we're going to use. Uh, we're going to start off with Illustrator. We're going to go to File place and then we're going to select the image that we uh, saved in spot process which in this example here is a motorhead EPS okay and then here it's a uh, select okay we're going to go ahead and deselect we're going to go over to file print and here in the print screen we're going to go ahead and go to printer select our printer which in this case is uh, the printer printing the, the AccuRip 4880 we're going to select our page size we're going to go over to setup and we're going to select we're going to go over to where it says marks and bleed and then we're going to select our registration marks. Then we're going to go to our output. And then we're going to go to mode. And our mode selection is going to be separations. Now in this section here is going to show you uh, your separations. We're going to go ahead and deselect the ground color. We don't need to print that. And then here you can also, um, depending on which RIP software you're using, and in this example here we're using the AccuRIP, so it will automatically uh, select the frequency and angle if you have that option selected. If not, um, you can go ahead and uh, change your frequency and your angle here in this section. Once we're done adjusting uh, the frequency and angle, or in this case, which we're using uh, AccuRip, and it's automatically um, setting the frequency and angles for you, it will uh, go ahead and print the uh, individual film positives out consecutively. <laughs> Okay, we just uh, created a separation using a spot process, one of my uh, favorite separation programs. And now I'm going to show you how to uh, open that separation in Photoshop. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to File, uh, Open, and then uh, I saved it on my desktop under Motorhead Test. And you're going to see it saved it as a format as an EPS. So we're going to go ahead and open that file there. And uh, you're going to see on the right hand side here under Channels that our separations were imported correctly and everything is there that we need. Um, the nice thing about uh, Spot Process, it gives you the Pantone numbers uh, that you will require to print every one of these colors. So it's a really nice and uh, you get really nice bright colors. And uh, here what we're going to do, um, in Photoshop is not as convenient as Illustrator. In Photoshop you actually do have to print uh, one um, plate at a time or one channel at a time. So I just kind of want to turn on the underbase to show you what it looks like. And that would be the underbase. So this would be the first one that we're going to print. So from here, we're going to have to print them one at a time. So we'll have to go to File, Print with Preview. Okay, and, and then we're going to have to set up our page just to make sure we have the right printer selected. So we'll have to go to Printers. Okay, the page setup, it'll pop up the printer. We're going to go to, uh, in this example, I'm going to use the AccuRip to Epson R1800. Uh, reason being it says AccuRip to Epson is because I'm using, and we'll talk a little bit more about the uh, software and the RIP softwares to produce uh, the film positives, but this is actually the RIP software that I'm using in this uh, scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the AccuRip to Epson R1800. Uh, page setup. I'm going to make sure we select the 13 by 19. There we go. And then we're going to go over to um, screens and we're going to uncheck it. Now, if you're using the software that I'm using to produce your uh, film positives, uh, the RIP that I'm using automatically will create uh, this halftone screens uh, section for you via the RIP. 
Um, it basically uses a standard frequency and a standard angle, and, uh, or you can adjust the frequency in the rip without having to touch Photoshop. And there's a little um, lock button that you would select or deselect in the rip. If you uh, decide to deselect and, and choose it from Photoshop, then this would be the area you come to. Um, here in the frequencies you would put uh, the dot size, for example, and uh, the angle that you'd be working at, which we normally uh, recommend uh, 22.5 and keeping it all the same, and then we go with the round dot and then select OK. Uh, then we want to make sure we select our registration marks and we select the center crop marks. Okay, now you can see the actual registration marks and the center crop marks here. And uh, this is ready to print, and then we can go ahead and uh, hit print.